I went on a little shopping spree. And as you can see here, I have three different brands of makeup and I wanna put them all into slime and see which brand can make the prettiest slime. Let's get into it. First up, we have e.l.f. I've definitely worked with makeup and slime before, but I've kind of like just ruined the makeup and then turned it into a pigment. But today I wanna to try something different. I wanna make a full face of makeup on slime. So let's begin with our primer. I never really use primer on myself, but hey, today is the first day I'm testing it out. Let's add a little bit of that. I don't really know how much primer to use, but that looks good. And I have the cutest little beauty blenders. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. I really hope that this primer doesn't deactivate our slime. Now our foundation. I'm gonna add a generous amount. We want, we want full coverage. She needs a full face. Now we're gonna be doing contour, a beauty wand. Okay, whoa, that's cool. You know what this contour reminds me of? There's this Mexican candy called Lucas and it like shoots out in the same way and it's so delicious. It's like a chamoy. Oh my gosh, it's like the same exact thing, but in makeup. Looks like these are her eyes and that's her mouth. <laughs> okay, let's start blending it. She's gonna be all bronzed up. It's gonna look like she just spent a whole day at the beach. Maybe she was surfing and now she's doing her makeup, getting ready to go to a nice dinner. What a vibe, honestly. I don't know what to do about this little nose area because she doesn't have a nose. This could be our nose, potentially. I think I should leave it. She needs a nose. Okay, we have to set like our foundation and our contour. So that's why I have this powder. <laughs> What kind of device is this? While I figured out how to use this powder device, I decided to kind of blend the nose into the eyes a bit because we gotta give her some nice eyes. Just keep blending. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna use this fun little brush. Check out how cool this brush is. I love this brush. It's so pretty. I want one of these for myself. Okay, so let's grab some of this powder and kind of set her foundation. Now she's honestly coming together. For the eyes, we have this gold liquid eyeshadow. Isn't that so cool? I'm just doing a little swatch here. Guys, you just have to see how beautiful this is. It's like fairy eyeshadow. I love it. This is such a gorgeous color. All right, let's blend that in. I'm really excited for this part because we have this blush that is like a putty. That is so interesting to me, a little putty blush. I've never tried one of those before. I kind of want to like grab a little bit. Okay, it just kind of feels like if you were to crush up some lipstick, I really like it. Okay, let's add a little bit of blush. This is such a weird concept of adding makeup like this on your slime. You know what? We need a brush for this. Here I have my nice little weirdly shaped brush. So let's use this for our blush to kind of blend it better because right now it's thin a little chunky. You can see like tiny little chunks in there. Wait, that made it worse. That made it so much worse. I think I'm just gonna use my finger. So I finished with the blush. I don't want to add more, but I do want to fix the eyes a little bit. All right, I'm so glad that now we have our eyes. Also, she needs some cute little eyes, so I'm gonna do like her pupils right here. She has kind of like crazy eyes, not gonna lie. She's like, <laughs> her eyes are like so open. Okay, let's add our mascara. Our mascara is not just any mascara, it's blue. And I have some eyelashes. Let's add them here to like the corners. Okay, and now let's add our blue mascara. I love this color of blue, it's so bright, so electric. Since these eyelashes are so small, I kind of want to use the mascara to draw some eyelashes. And now let's add the final touch, which is our lipstick. I went for like a bright shade of red and it's also matte. Let's see what it looks like with a little swatch test. Ooh, it's like red, but with a hint of pink in it. So let's give her some nice lips, some luscious lips. And for the final touch, we need to add some eyebrows. Okay, this is our e.l.f. makeup slime. Look at her, she is so beautiful. She's ready to go out, she's gorgeous. But you know what? She's actually not going out tonight because we're gonna mix her together. not just testing out how it looks on slime, we're also testing out how good of a slime it makes. Ooh, wait, that looks so cool with the blue popping out. You also see like some streaks of gold in there. This is looking really cute. This slime is so slay, but let's see how it compares to our next slime. Two words.
words, rare beauty. I'm a huge fan of Selena Gomez. I used to stay up and make little music videos on my brother's MacBook to her music. And that was my life for like two years. So far, this foundation is honestly beautiful. Let's do blush. I decided to go for like a corally color. I think it's gonna look super pretty. Ooh. I love how this pops. This is such a good color. I have eyeliner to give her a face. Bloop. Give her some pupils. Also, we need some long, luscious lashes. Oh my gosh. She is fierce. Okay, let's give her a nose. She's gonna have like a very tiny, tiny little nose. She can breathe now. We have eyeshadow. It's like a metallic shade. It looks super cool. Let's add some right here. Oh my gosh. This is a nice shade of like, what is it, like magenta? These products are way easier to use than the e.l.f. ones. They have a perfect amount of pigment and they work really well with slime. She is almost ready. Let's give her some highlighter. She's definitely gonna be glowing. Right here. You want a little bit on her nose? Why not, little dot? Might as well add some like under the brow too. She's gonna be glowing. And you know what? I kind of want to give her freckles. When I was little, all of the little dolls that I would draw always had freckles and I wish I had freckles. It's time for our last product, lipstick. I'm gonna draw her mouth like all the way down here. I think it'll look nice with that mole. <laughs> oh my gosh, she looks so cool. Let's mix her up. But before we mix her, let's give her some nice little finger pokes. All right, let's fold her like a nice little burrito. You thought she was going on that runway, but instead she just turned into a nice makeup burrito. You know what this looks like right now? It looks like Doobop from SpongeBob. Yeah. That wraps up Rare Beauty. Let's move on to the last and final slime, the mother of all makeup. Deal. I didn't get a lot of Dior stuff, pretty expensive, okay? But hey, quality over quantity, am I right? We're gonna start off with the foundation. I like the applicator, first of all, that's kind of cool. Whoa, okay, it's making art. Dior is expensive. It's a luxury product, deal. I kind of like the rare one a little bit more. Right now I'm blending it in and it's creating all of these streaks, so, so far, I don't know about this foundation. It's like when he was testing out this foundation, he wasn't thinking about how it would look on slime. That's so inconsiderate. Let's move on to eyeshadow. Problem is, I don't have like an eyeliner or anything to create a face. So this is where we could fail. We have to work with what we have. So we're gonna have to use the mascara. I'm gonna draw some eyes and then we can add our eyeshadow. I'm just gonna add pupils. These eyeshadows are gorgeous. Add some of this magenta color. Oh my gosh, wait, it's actually really nice. Now, I wanna go in with this like dark purple. Now let's add our eyelashes. Since I have so many left over, I'm just gonna add all of them. I'm gonna add some mascara to these falsies. We need to make them look more dramatic. And also, I'm gonna use this to create some eyebrows. And now we need to give her a nose. Just like that. I didn't buy blush, cause Dior is expensive, okay? But that's what's awesome about makeup. We can get creative. So I think I'm gonna use some of this color. I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of add a little bit right here on her cheeks. Okay, it's time for the last product, which is our lipstick. So this lipstick was really pigmented on my skin, but on this slime, it's like honestly not working. Christian Dior is disappointing me right now. This lipstick does not work on slime. Points off for Christian Dior. Let's just use some of the eyeshadow. So I will say I'm very happy with the eyeshadow, but the rest of the products were honestly kind of mid. While she does look pretty glamorous, the lips are just not doing it for me. Doesn't have a shape, kind of looks like she just put lipstick all over her mouth, but she still looks pretty cute. I do feel like we bonded though. Like I really can connect to her. So I want to give her a name. I think I want to name her Betty. Betty, the scared lady. <laughs> Betty, the scared lady. Okay, honestly, out of all the makeup brands, I have to say my favorite face that we made was Rare Beauty. I loved how their products looked on the slime. They were so easy to use, but I'm gonna let you guys decide which slime was the best. So let's mix her up and see how she compares to the others. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, Betty. I'm gonna go straight for the eyes. Ah, she's seen terrible things. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel so bad for her. Comment down below which makeup made the best slime and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.